healthy and of things to come. It's a story you'll only see on 4029. I'm on the 10th floor of the new Hunt Tower building. Take a look at Rogers behind me. The woman responsible for all of this growth says sometimes it's tough to get new businesses interested in coming here. Today, construction crews and the city celebrated what's called a top off ceremony. They signed their names on the final beam, then it in a plant were placed on top of Hunt Tower. It's a special moment because it's another new project for us. The new 10-story building is being built by John L. Hunt's development company. She's responsible for a lot of growth in the Pinnacle area. She told me how she gets businesses interested in Rogers. We go to conventions and we, we meet with people and we try to entice them to come and realize what a great place Northwest Arkansas is and the best place to start a business. But she says getting businesses to look at Rogers, Springdale, Fayetteville, and Bentonville as one is the holdup. If we could all come together and have one big name, we'd probably get a Nordstrom's or a Neiman's or a Cheesecake Factory that everybody is saying, why can't we get a Cheesecake Factory? She says they are behind the large 200-unit luxury apartment complex going up near New Hope Road in Bellevue and the payway set to open next year, but won't say yet what other new businesses people can expect. Because it's kind of like all of us in development up here after the same, same business, same com company, same restaurant, whatever. We don't want somebody else to go after that one. Hunt Tower is expected to open at the beginning of November, and I'm told a little over half of it has already been signed to be leased out. In Rogers, Jonathan Rosell, 4029 News. What a view there.